Saddam, how are you? Blessings. Welcome to Soul Talk. I'm Eugenie Soul, your local natural mystic, Kabbalist, yogi, entrepreneur. Thank you for sharing um, some time with me to listen to what's going on and how I'm working out, what I'm working out. Today's talk is going to be about the negative ego, how to leverage your worm. What is that? <laughs> I was driving in my uh, 1997 Toyota Avalon, God bless it, 195,000 miles, traveling from way up north to way down south, such a blessing to have. So I'm rolling in my car, and um, I got a negative speech, commercial going on in my head, sounds, images, everything, right? And it's influencing my body, it's influencing how I'm feeling and thinking. So I'm driving asleep, basically, like most of us are throughout our days thinking and feeling different things while we're operating in the world and then my consciousness kicked in and I realized like man you know I've been doing this for a very long time I've been I've been asleep watching commercials it's not just television the 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 the, the, the most powerful influencer the most powerful television is our imagination is our minds and it's constantly shooting products and stuff at us it's constantly shooting opinions and belief systems at us constantly right and sometimes we play into those things sometimes we entertain those thoughts and those emotions and they end up affecting the remainder of our day whomever we're thinking about or feeling about at that time without us truly even knowing it right right in front of our very eyes so this leveraging of the worm of the negative ego and why I called it that is I felt like it's a worm it's a parasite it's a parasite um, I was walking I've been doing drum circles for like 14, 15 years in Venice Beach, California, right? So I'm walking uh, to the circle, just grab me a nice mimosa. <laughs> I'm mobbing to the beach, and I see this artist, because there's artists along the uh, the Venice Beach boardwalk. At least, you know, hopefully there's still this artist there. But at the time I was there, this guy had made a painting of... Uh, let's say people walking down the street in a met metropolitan setting and as they're walking they've got this black cloud like 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 this cloud and this but it's like a demon and it's got like its teeth in each one of the people some of them are not as dark as others but they're all there and they're like sucking the life force out of these individuals while they're just walking minding their own business so I always it was it made such a powerful impression on me at the time um, and it is, it is seeping to my subconscious so that I brought that image back up and said, man, I'm being, I'm being fed on. I'm being fed on by my negative ego, my pain body. If you're familiar with uh, Nam and, and my teacher, Dr. Joseph Michael Levering, blessings, brother. I love you so much, teacher. You're the man. Um, if you're familiar with that, are you familiar with any of um, Eckhart Tolle's work? Uh, in regards to the, the pain body, that's exactly what it is. The pain body or the body of pain, or I'm, well, I'm just going to reference the worm right now, feeds off of negative emotions, feeds off of our thoughts and our feelings that are geared towards negativity, depression, fear, guilt, anger, frustration, either low level or high level of, of negativity. It feeds off that because we are energetic beings when we play into that, when we're emitting that frequency, it's feeding off of us. Again, this is just my perspective, but I, I got a feeling, at least for myself, it's what's true and it may be true for you. But I realized like, I have got to take back my power. I have got to take control of my thoughts and my feelings as much as possible as as many times a day as I can. You understand what I mean? A lot of the times we're in a mold, we're in character mode, whether you're at work, whether you're a mother, whether you're a father, it doesn't matter, you're in a character mode. And sometimes those things, those characters just come into play and you're just doing an unconscious um, action or thought or feeling. So, you know, this is this is the time for us to be to be, you know, our self saviors. This is a time for us to be conscious enough to take back sovereignty over our bodies, over our hearts, and over our minds. So to continue to allow for these 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 negative thoughts and feelings and emotions to feed off of us and, and to set up our life, to set up our future, to keep us in fear of moving forward, of breaking through our own barriers, of of, of dreaming the impossible and then accomplishing, fulfilling that dream 
waking up and then making it a reality is so crucial. It's so crucial that we as conscious beings or evolving consciousness itself be very present and guard against these thoughts and these feelings. Classic, classic Course in Miracles work. If you've never read the Course in Miracles, I highly recommend it. You read it uh, and, and check it out. We'll be doing the book club very soon, uh, starting, I believe, in September, so that we can come together as a group and go through these different these different teachings. I have more about that. If you're not on my newsletter, please click the link below under this video and get on board. But it, you know, I, I, I just think that it's so important for us to put Whatever it is, whatever unconscious, conscious, negative belief system, there is not enough. I can never love again because people will always lie and portray me, right? I will never uh, live a life of fulfillment that I want. Whatever the thought frame is, whatever constantly keeps you in a sense of lack, fear, worry, depression, you know, anger, frustration, whatever that is, you know what that is. If you take the time to recognize it, you gotta switch the game on that little worm that's sucking on you. So how did I do it? So what I did was, while I'm in the car, I'm rolling, I'm, I'm thinking and feeling these thoughts, and I catch myself, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna draw that force right back out of that little worm and back into myself. I'm gonna take that alchemized life force that it's taken from me and ingested in itself, I'm going to suck it back out of it. <laughs> I'm going to suck it back out of it and I'm going to make sure that I keep my force, my healing energy within myself, that I keep it focused on my goals, my, not my dreams, my goals. I keep my, my perspective and my purpose firmly in hand and I empower it with all the force I can. And if I got to suck it back out of this this little worm that's keeping me broke, that's keeping me sad, that's keeping me alone, that's keeping me in fear, so be it. Because it's nobody else's fault that you were, that you are the way you are right now. There's nobody else's fault you're in the place you are right now, you're in the relationship you are right now. There's nobody else's fault. It's nobody else's fault in general, but it's your responsibility. It's the choices that you made that got you there. Nobody did anything to you that you did not allow, that you didn't make a conscious or subconscious choice to allow. So to take that power back in fullness, with, with, with nothing but sovereignty of a king or queen of your kingdom of your universe right to take that back is, is I think one of the most empowering things ever and I think it changes the course of your life so when I started to do that things in my life begin to change I begin to draw more opportunities to myself I begin to feel better about myself I begin to forgive and have deeper compassion about those around me that may have been reflecting back my feelings and emotions that I probably was thinking or feeling and now they're just acting those things out to justify to co-create with me in life right because it's a co-creative situation we have with the universe you know when i take that power back when i took that power back as i am constantly taking that power back when i'm conscious it changes the course of my life and allows me to live a more full and prosperous and healthy life so take that in consideration just just to drop in the water to make the ripples move throughout time and space think about making sure that you don't have any parasites all up in your head and in your heart make sure that when you are driving walking talking whatever you're doing and you feel yourself and you witness yourself going off and watching one of those negative commercials being broadcast to you by your 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 ally slash <laughs> you know challenge that's going to push you towards a higher level take that energy back make a conscious choice how you do it you know i do a breath and as i breathe in i'm drawing that energy right back out of it into myself and as i exhale i'm expanding it out into my aura into my personal affairs into my presence so that's just a a low-key small but powerful technique that you can use whatever you got to do to do it my loves do it this is Eugenia Soul signing off. Thank you for listening to Soul Talk. Don't forget, July 26th is the new moon in Cancer. If this is an older video and you don't see it, you missed it. If not, please join us on the beach. Check in below uh, so that you can sign up for the newsletter so that you can be in touch with the, uh, the, the events and the programs and workshops and classes that now Miami's got going on. I'm so grateful that you give me the opportunity uh, to speak, and I am going to see you soon. Blessings.